Welcome, everybody, to the Daily Presidential Address. We're going to look at the New York Giants now, plus six and a half, against the Carolina Panthers. And this game is in Germany. Public service announcement, sorry. To all you Germans out there, you deserve better than this game. You have incredible sausages. Your bangers and mash in German style is amazing. Sauerkraut is delicious. I wear Lederhosen never. But either way, you deserve a better game than this. With that said, I'm going to tell you how to make money off of this very game. But before we get into that, Please, guys, I got a promo code up. It's PASS3, P-A-S-S-3. It is three-day all-access pass for my plays, and you're only paying for one day. So it's three for one. It's $39. You get my college football, NFL, NBA, college basketball, and NHL for three days. I am begging you guys to please try me out for three days and see how it goes. I had a great night last night, five and one for my clients, and I really feel like I'm going to do great. Okay, how do we bet this game? Well, it's really not that hard. Can someone please explain to me how the New York Giants are favored against anybody? I mean, anybody. Are they playing the Saskatchewan Rough Riders? I would take Saskatchewan plus six and a half. Are they playing the Red Blacks, the Blue Bombers? Maybe they're playing the Corn Huskers or the Golden Gophers. I don't know. They can't be playing an NFL team if they're plus minus six and a half. This is a shocking disaster of a football team. Now, I'm not the biggest Daniel Jones hater. I think there's a lot of problems. They have surrounded this guy with nobody. Their offensive line sucks. They have no wide receiving core. They have no tight end. They can't find a running game. And this has been going on for freaking years. I don't think Daniel Jones is a great quarterback. He's not the worst in the league. Yet last week, I kid you not, he put up zero, zero yards in the first half. But he did get a touchdown. That's the first time, I think, since 1976 that a quarterback put up zero yards and ended up with a touchdown in a half of football. Now, if you've been following me, you know I like to bet the rhythm of teams, the emotion of players. I look at this and I think to myself, man, two years ago, the Giants made the playoffs. Then last year, they, Daniel Jones was out for most of the season. They had to come into this year thinking they had a chance. They could get eight, nine wins, maybe. Now they got to be so disappointed. There has to be turmoil in that dressing room. Man, even their daunted pass rush quit on them last week. I think the psyche of the New York Giants has to be bad. Conversely, the Panthers came into the season expecting to lose every single bloody game anyway. It's only up for them. And they beat New Orleans last week, a division game. And Bryce Young actually played half decent. So with that said, we have a distraught, angry, miserable, depressed New York Giants team with Daniel Jones as their quarterback against a, who cares, we finally won a game, life is good, the sun might come up tomorrow, Carolina Panthers team. Plus, The Panthers, I get six and a half points. That's where we're going. Again, Germans, my apology for this shitty game, but you have Lederhosen, so life is good. Take Carolina plus six and a half. Lots of love, everybody. Take advantage of that promo code PASS3, and we'll see you tomorrow.